I've had quite a few people ask me about my venting for my 500 gram Mill City Roaster. Um, so I thought I'd spend just a minute and review what I did, show you guys what I did, and then I'll have some links in the notes um, comment area below so you guys can take a look at that. Um, so th there's several options for venting um, your roaster. Um, I'm a home roaster. Uh, I'm down in the basement and I am venting through a glass block. So that's going to be one of the things that you'll need to think about is what are you going to be going through to vent out? Are you going through a roof? Are you going through a wall? Are you going through a glass block? And I had to make that decision. And uh, so here we are with a glass block uh, system. And I'll show you exactly what I did. Uh, first, I was concerned about heat transfer from the pipe out through glass. So I wanted to be sure that whatever I used, um, it would not be, this area here would not be so hot that I couldn't um, have it come in contact with any building materials. So I'm using B-Vent. Um, this B-pipe is double walled. So while this roaster is on and it's, you know, four or 500 degrees, you can lay your hand on here and you're not gonna get burned. Uh, you'd be able to, um, have your hand hold on to that for a little while before you probably want to let go. So it's rated to be able to be in contact with wood. Now mine's not and I've actually built in a little insulation around um, the exit so that um, I'm not concerned about you know having any sort of a fire issue. So I should be good to go there. So this is Selkirk, that's the brand. You can get it through Home Depot or your local hardware store uh, can go ahead and order that for you. This is a three inch pipe and you're gonna need a couple of elbows and some straight pipe. Ultimately, you're gonna wanna decide uh, where your roaster is gonna be, take some measurements, how much pipe you're gonna need. And the way that this pipe works is, is that at your connections, like this connection, you'll see uh, a dimple here and a dimple here. When you insert the two pieces, the dimples are going to be facing each other. And then you twist to lock these two pieces into place. And that's why there's this offset that's here. Uh, so this has really worked out great for me. Haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it's about time for me to take it apart to clean. Um, I've had my roaster for a year. I have taken apart this uh, fan system, uh, you know, removed that from the roaster to basically clean out this pipe and clean out the fan because the airflow uh, does get influenced. This is basic maintenance, roaster maintenance you're going to end up doing. Uh, the other is you're going to be uh, adjusting the drum where the drum, how close it gets to the uh, this front wall here. Um, but that's for another post. So I'm using Selkirk 3-inch B vent. This is a, um, has a swivel adjustment here and here. So, you know, if you look at the way that this is pitched, you'll see that the pipe actually goes to the left. Um, and that's why you want to have this this ex these extra turns in here so that's standard for like a uh, 45 they should have a couple swivel points um, and it's quite a bit less than what some of the uh, real expensive venting systems go for that uh, other people are using uh, and if you want to use those that's great uh, I just didn't have the money to be able to uh, put towards that and I thought that I could do fine with uh, with this system so uh, that's what I have. Take a look at the at the notes so you'll be able to see uh, the links and check those out. Uh, as always, you should uh, be sure that you um, follow all safety procedures for your venting so that you don't have um, uh, poisonous gases, you know, carbon monoxide coming back into your um, work area. And you also want to be careful about fire. This is in contact, if you look here with the wood, but this, like I said, does not get hot enough 
to be a fire concern. So um, everything's safe with my system here. And um, again, refer to my notes and, and links down in the um, common area. And we'll talk to you later.